Here comes the hot summer breeze and the blazing sun, who always looks so angry in the afternoons. All I ever want to do on such hot days is sit in a cool room and savor watermelon. So I step out and go straight to the vendor to get the watery sweet fruit. Oh, he's offering two small watermelons for rupees fifty a piece and a big one for rupees hundred. I guess more the better. So let me take the two small ones and head back home. Wait, what? It was a wrong choice. Why? Okay, let me solve it the smart way. I take a long string and wrap it around each watermelon. This is the circumference. And I calculate the radius using the formula r is equal to a by 2 pi. Since watermelons are more or less spherical, let's find out their volumes. Volume of a sphere is 4 by 3 pi r cube. Surprisingly, the bigger one has way more pulp than the two small ones combined. How is it even possible? Well, here's some math for the rescue. A small change in radius makes a huge difference in volume. As volume is a cubic function of radius, meaning if radius is 1 unit, volume is 1 cube, that is 1. For a radius of 2 units, volume is 2 cube, which is 8. Make the radius 3 units. Volume becomes 3 cube that is 27, a big number compared to its radius. A gradual change in radius results in a big difference in volume. So, here is a life hack. Always go for the bigger fruit if you want more pulp out of it. That's why learning math is so useful. For more such fun science and math hands-on activities, subscribe to our YouTube channel Icer Pune Science Activity Center. Thank you.